Hello everybody and welcome to the future but yet past, but also future of the two episodes that I have recorded previously. We are going to go back into the war room and we're going to do Duo Falls in Advanced Wars 2 style. So we've done Advanced Wars 1 Span Island and Moji Island, and now we're going and we've done Advanced Wars 2 style Soul Harbor with an Advanced Wars 1 character. But now we're going to actually play Advanced Wars 2 as it was kind of meant to be played. We're going to be choosing a character who I think is perfect for this map, and one you might not think of immediately, Sensei. <laughs> <clears throat> Forgot to do my Patreon thing. So here are the Super Patreons of Smazabazza and the regular Patreon of Battlewash. I hope you're all doing very, very well. So why do I think Sensei is really good for this mission? Well, as you can see over here, like this little choke pointy area here, um, mech, mech, and then mech, mech, there. Uh, here you can't really use it, but having just two mechs is really strong. Then mech, mech, and mech mech. If you have at least these how uh, these properties here, you're getting around ten thousand funds. And you're probably getting you're probably getting like this line here at least. But if you're getting even, like if you're getting the even trade kinda here, because they get an airport, like let's say this is the even trade, you're getting around twelve thousand uh, every single time you use your super zero power. And you have mechs on the field, which is obviously really good. Um, the way that this one goes, or at least the meta for it, is you know, you get, you get more movement. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, the only problem is it might be hard to do that, but we'll give it a try anyway. Uh, secondarily, uh, we just want to spam infantry. I had a thought of doing another one, but we don't have we don't have 1,200. If we had 1,200, I would. Meaning next turn, essentially. So we'll see how this goes. Um, always use infantry from the back first. Um, okay. I think an APC would be very useful. Another transport copter would be useful. And then just... Yeah, so we're just going to monopolize our ability to get stuff early, essentially. We can't get that base super early, um, but, but poten uh, potentially, yeah, this is a hard one. However, I think it is possible to do it because uh, he will either, if he goes for this base with this infantry, which he should, uh, it means that we guaranteed get this airport, which, hey, it's not the strongest thing. Uh, but it does mean that they have to fight to get it back. Uh, which is actually very good for us. So this infantry can now go up here. Um, which makes me... Yeah. want to put this here. Just thinking on, of everything in a very like mathematical way here. Um, I think one more, I think Battlecopter spam now, to a degree, would be good. Uh, and then we'll spam two more infantries uh, on this side, because this side is closer, obviously, uh, other than this one. Uh, actually, can let me see a bit more of the map, maybe? I hate how, that's like, that's too zoomed out, you know what I mean? I wish there was a way to see it in a little bit of a... Maybe that, but still. The thumbnails for some of these missions will be a bit jank, so I think I'll just have to accept that. I think I might even, like, I, I do the I do the zoom in after, so it does that. Now, here you might be asking yourself, well, how are you going to continue this capture at this point? Ah, and that's a very good question, and it gets solved very easily. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can stop. 
but not if we put it right here, I think. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> okay, we can't get that yet, which sucks, but we can do the next best thing. So as you can see, uh, with all these infantry units that we have, we've been able to really catapult our capture game already, which is very important, obviously. Um, as well. You want to kind of have your air, the air units that you're going to be using close enough. Um, I think for pretty obvious reasons. Um, so he has, if we, the interesting thing is, is we can delay this unit, we could do this, um, which would delay that. I think at this point we need a tank, and we'll go and get another APC, that way we can just put this infantry in this APC and then go forward again, this APC can go back to like here, bing, this goes into transport copter and then everything that isn't being moved currently uh, gets moved um, so one two three four five six seven eight so nothing can literally like nothing at all can hit this infantry so we may as well bring him back uh, this plane rather back uh, and the one extra movement on transport is another reason why sensei is really good on this mission uh, however one thing you can do and I will be doing is you can just build a missiles unit. Uh, even though Sensei's missile units are a bit weaker, they still basically full on cripple any uh, force that would come up to them. Now then, this is the important thing. So see, now this one won't be able to get hit. But if we do this, we use a little bit of creative fun. Uh, he can no longer uh, interrupt this cap. Because money, yet again, in a map like this is very important. Also, just getting cities with Sensei in general is really important. It's really funny, though, that Sensei and uh, Hachi are uh, two people, you know, who are... Like, Hachi really learned a thing or two about how, how important cities can be when you uh, cheat. I think that's really funny. Um, one thing we'll do is put this right here. So if Max does decide to kill our transport copter, we basically kill his uh, prop, uh, his thing in general, uh, his battle copter, which is very strong. We'll build another battle copter, and then we'll save our money. Let's look at our intel. Always have your intel on status. That is the only important thing. Uh, so we get 1,600 funds, uh, so we'll have 1,900. That's really good. If we get a fighter early, we can actually bullshit our way to victory with it. So, recons are now going to be taking some good advantage shots. Uh, it could be useful to make mechs, maybe in the midline. Yeah, so, battlecopter going to battlecopter. So we're going to capture our thing first, and then we're going to move off. Uh, it's kind of annoying that we didn't... I think we should have gone for the base at the very start of the mission. If we did, we would be in a much better position currently. Um, so next turn, we're going to build a medium tank, and that basically fixes any and all. this here for now. As you can see, literally, uh, Sensei Battlecopters literally like one shot regular Battlecopters. It's great. Very strong. Very strong. Uh, we can do this. Bring this down here. Just so we have a lot of infantry. Uh, infantry can obviously just be used to stole out things, like objectives and stuff. 
but also just being able to capture stuff has been good. The other thing is, is these cities are like perfectly here for Sensei, it feels like. Obviously Sensei is Advance Wars 2, this is Advance Wars 1 map, um, but still, very much so. Um, I think we'll just go for a Battlecopter, and then next turn we'll make a Neo tank here. Uh, let's look at our status again, so we get 1800, um, so that means we could make an artillery if we wanted to. However, we have a lot of transports. I think I'm going to make two mech units to try to get some value trades in. Even though I don't really often use mechs uh, because of how slow they are. Okay, so they're going to try to steal that property, uh, but then also attack our APC a lot, which is good for us because it means we don't have to deal with too much aggression. Because all of their aggression at the moment is going towards that APC, meaning that we can uh, kind of stutter step in a way, you can call it. So now they've made this brunt force uh, that we're going to be breaking through in the uh, upcoming days, essentially. Okay, so, this battlecopter. I'm going to move back, and we're going to fuse this to get a bit of money back, um, which didn't give us the money for the Neo Tank, we had the money for the Neo Tank regardless, however it's still very nice. However, we now ga obviously guarantee kill that, um, yeah, we'll capture and then bring the APC and all of that back for the mechs, because the mechs need to be on the front lines. Um, put this here. We're basically making a line of defense. And we'll take this, because we can. Technically it has 20% defense here, because we have 10% reduced firepower. I like how Sensei gets that grin though, it makes me happy, it makes me smile. Sensei Infantry! Jesus! I know he only had like two hit points essentially, but that's still crazy. Anyway. You thought you could beat me? You're a funny one. Oh, I love Sensei. Um, there is no way for us, sadly. Uh, we could have, like, uh, put one mech into the transport, I guess, but it's fine. Um, otherwise, let's see, CO power-wise, how everyone's going. He could max blast, um, which could be bad. However, we, on the retaliation, just swamp him. So I think he'll just go for super CO power. Give up. Oh, no. He must be seeing value with the one extra movement, because the one extra movement can actually give you a lot of value. And it will allow him to like, kind of swamp in his tanks more as well. And obviously, uh, no, maybe kill my tank. However, I have a Neo tank now, so that literally deals with any ground troop. And then I'll build a missile. Uh, basically, I want to be able to create a... Kind of like a grit scenario, where you have a bunch of infantry at the front, infantry and mechs at the front, and then bring in, like, a strong armada of things at the back. That's actually good for us. That's actually very good for us. So, we're going to destroy this. Oh, I'll just try to. Uh, as this allows us to quite simply just be able to use our air units more, which is the only problem we're having currently. Oh yeah, I just realized, max missiles, very useful. Um, medium tank, please. I'll take this engagement, we might even kill, depending on how things work. Okay, we got, we got zero luck modifier for that one, but that's still fine. I almost thought that we died, because uh, like we took a bunch of damage or something. Yeah, so next turn, 
we're gonna get our CR power. And because he has nothing at all that can actually... Actually, we'll have a look at these. We'll still go for this. Because that is still a very strong attack for us. Um, and then move everything forward, because why not? Um, and other than that, we are good. And we get our super uh, CO power next turn. Which you will see will be a massive game changer. Because you can see his economy is really good right now. But it won't be for long. Especially when we pull in some of these mechs. I think if we really bring in a lot of mechs, uh, sensei mechs especially, uh, we can do a lot of pain. So he just made a bomber. Uh, we're going to counter-attack that with making a fighter. So we can essentially now fully control a lot of things. But secondarily, um, what we can also now do is very plain and simply uh, destroy everything. Because although he has a bomber, he'll move it in and he might get an attack on one thing. We're still going to win any engagement. Now what I want to do here is use this battlecopter to actually destroy this infantry. Jesus, 103% firepower. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think Sensei... Let's have a look. Yeah, he has 40%, I believe, increased firepower. Or maybe it's even 50%. It could be anything. It could be infinite percent. As we can see, Sensei reduced firepower is very strong. Also, one thing I just realized, why didn't I just check the CO screen properly? Um, then we can bring this infantry back, combine, now we have a full health infantry. And we also now have, um, well we have a super CO power for one, which is obviously very good. Um, the only question is with that is do I want to leave that for a turn? Because if I spawn it now, it gives me 27, 54, 10, 80, and then in the next turn, okay, so it gives me, I think it's better to do a next turn when I get the buff, and then that way the bomber, when it comes over, won't be as threatening. The good thing as well is that Battlecopter can't do anything this turn as well. Also, if you guys want to like have me, this is going to be, this and the next episode are going to be the last ones I record. This is such a good trade for me, because it means you can't use this airport for another turn. Man, the fact that he made missiles, I think he made those missiles and then he was like, wait. Um, let's see that everyone is off some cities. Let's go for it. Airborne Assault! I've still got it. I still got what it takes. Hand me my goggles. Airborne Assault! Oh boy, is that just scary to see? Um, so let's see CO. Battlecopter is getting 50%, but foot soldiers are 40%. Um, so, Battlecopters get 25%, so they are at 75% power right now. Ludicrous. And this is why I like Sensei. Instant arrival mech can be so game-changing, it's not funny.
Also, I think our infantry maybe get a buff from this as well. Let's see. Okay, only his battle copters. That's fine though. We can now actually one shot with that. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is an issue. We'll make it less of an issue. Because if we're on defense, you know, defense tiles, we have 30% defense right now with that one. We can join those up. Sad that we couldn't use that one. One thing we can actually do here is um, combine these to get even more money. But um, let's combine all of these to see how much money in total we're going to be having. Yeah. We have Gucci on our side now. There's no way you can win, old man. Old man saying to Mac that he would be furious. Okay. Obviously, anytime you can attack APCs, if they go for healing, it just gives you a lot of value. Hell, we can actually just do this. Bring in the mechs. Uh, we can do that. And then we can come back here, grab that. May as well make this tank useless. Should be on eight, eight, uh, 2 HP, but it wasn't. No luck roll, unfortunately. Um, and at this point, I'm gonna go and buy that missile unit. Sadly, we just don't have enough money to spam out another 2,000 point unit. Um, so I'm just gonna take the opportunity to make two battlecopters. So now with a fighter and two battlecopters, we can do a lot of stuff. I wonder if he'll use his super CO uh, CO power again. No, he won't. Okay. Makes more sense. I feel like Max is always really scary when he uses his Super CO power just because it can do so much crazy stuff. Okay, so he can finally deploy some air units, which is pseudo bad. We'll destroy the mechs. They'll never survive. Didn't even go for the Neo tank, which is funny to me. Everything moving back from that area now is also very good. His tank just blocked his airport. Are you kidding me? That's incredibly good for us. Um, can we actually now sabo? No, we can't. Unfortunate. However, though, one thing we can do is destroy this bomber in one hit. So now that that is worthless, we can actually do a lot of cool stuff. 56, awesome. We've now isolated this recon, so we don't even need to focus on it anymore. Yeah, this is the good way to do it. So, we destroy this. Um, we could then capture this. We can then destroy this infantry, so then he has no units here at all. And then what we're going to be doing is uh, using the mech just to do a bit of damage, because we can. <laughs> a bit of damage. A lot of them. Um, and then, boom. If he makes an air unit, it is going to get hit by this. Um, and that is the big prize of, uh, right now. We'll kill this tank over two turns. He can't heal at all, so if he goes back to the base, uh, that just means that they have nothing to do with their base for a turn. We'll bring in more mechs, or we'll, you know, carry back some of our mechs. We'll even make two transport copters this turn. Um, okay. 
we'll even we'll put this here, have this go in and you know stuff like that. But um this this one has to stay here, so then this recon can't hit onto this one. Um so then we can capture that building. Uh Max should have his CO power uh, CO power. However, um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, he can only move to here with this recon. And that's the only thing. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he can't move any of his units to anywhere for filling. Um, one thing we will do, however, is make an anti-air unit here. Um, just so then when he has more planes over here, because he's definitely going to be wanting to make planes, we can then swat him out of the sky. So my hope is that he moves his tank to the base. Roll tanks roll. The most, the most under, like, delivered line in my opinion from Aaron Hansen. Like, there's a lot of lines he did when, like, where you do, uh, if you do like the Drake missions as Max, there's one where it's like, Ocean, no more, please just land. And he like performs it really well, and I was like, that's a good one. Okay. Ah, I see. We could still get the capture. Okay. That is a fair enough. This might actually hurt a little. They're both happy. What a good thing. I wonder what he's gonna make. He can't make a Neo tank, and that's the main thing. Is if he can't make Neo tanks, then it's fine. Also, I see that you put an air unit on that airport. Be a shame if someone were to take it out. Um, how much do these? Uh, six, one, two, three, four, five. So they can't attack us from hurting these. Also, we have a fighter jet that they currently can't even beat. Um. And if we keep taking away their properties, uh, in general, won't be able to be. Hmm. Well, this definitely goes down. This definitely kills what it's meant to kill. And if it doesn't, we can use the infantry. It did. Good job. Uh, we're going to pull this back because I want that to get healed up. Um, we'll APC here. Bring in this, put this down. Now we'll go where the battlecopter is. So we'll have the battlecopter here, take out this one. It is so funny that I can essentially just like. Hey, battlecopter! What are you gonna do about this fighter? Nothing? Good. Um, boom. get that one little tick of damage. Uh, I wonder if we can actually kill. We might actually be able to kill this APC. And we do. Awesome. So yet again, we have all of these infantry ready to cap. Um, I could feasibly put this near tank on this airport. However, if he builds anything on it, he automatically loses a lot of value because I just missile it down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he can't even hit this missile unit. So it's not like he can retaliate at all. Uh, I'm gonna make. Oh, do I wanna make a... I think I need. A... I'm... I need more big, strong attackers. Uh, and then otherwise, I'm gonna make another mech. And just get a lot of mechs in there. Okay. And that was doing his CO power. So he gains none of that as uh, any points. Ooh. Time for a big push without my CO power. This is fine. This might even get us really close to getting our CO power. Because yet again, our battlecopters kill his battlecopters basically instantly. Um, one fun thing we can actually do is now to start destroying his troops as they come out. 
now we don't even need to worry about things. And if they keep making anti-air, we can just keep destroying it. Very well played. Except for it isn't. Because it's a 97, I think it's almost like yeah, I think it's actually guaranteed. Uh, I'm gonna put this battle copter. I'm gonna put this battle copter here, and then I'm going to combine them, to give us a lot more money, and then with that money, I'm gonna be able to make more bullshit, which I hear is cool with the kids these days. Also known as I'm gonna make another fighter. Or maybe a bomber even. I think we'll make a bomber. I think that's fun. Um, so we'll start capping this one. We'll have this here. That tank can interrupt. Oh. We'll put this here then. Put it here, so then it has a bit of defense, but it can still hit on that uh, little square. Boom. Look at all these mechs that are just appearing out of nowhere for Max to deal with, essentially. Beautiful, beautiful mech spam. And we'll build an infantry so we have a little bit more uh, troops ready to help. Yep. We're starting, as soon as we get that base, we essentially win. I wonder what he's going to do this time. So, 5 HP tank. I think we actually, yeah, we did pretty good there. I wonder what this will do. Actually. That did a lot, actually, surprisingly. Mech block. Oh my god, mech block base. That must be painful. And his... He is nothing for that. That is so funny. That means we can terrorize all of these troops that he just built for free. Literally, we don't even need air defense at this point. But we have it anyway. One way you can really beat him is by clogging these up uh, with a lot of air units. Yeah, because if you have a lot of transport units, you can just transport all the way there and then they can't really do much. We're going to put this here, so then it can get itself supplied. This needs to go back, because it needs healing. As does this. However, we have, a, we have a fresh few tanks ready to have some fun. Use the mech, because we're sensei. Move up all of the mechs. Do we give them the satisfaction of destroying one of our troops? How much do we do against a battle copter? I mean, to uh, that. Not much is the answer, which is unfortunate. Pick up. I would like to pop our power next turn, especially because he's probably going to get his in, like, the turn after. Bit. Well, we'll put our battle copters, I think, I guess, for now. Not in range. Dear God, not in range. Uh, I think we, I will take this battle. It's kind of bad, but it means that both his anti-air will come in. 
and then I beat both his anti-air, and then my Battlecopters can swipe the west of his units, uh, which I think is just very strong. Um, and then other than that, what do I want to build this turn? I think this turn I'm just going to build another medium tank. And then we'll move the bomber. Many of times have I played Sensei and not done that. So we'll see what Maxi Boy will do. Max is a Maxibon mm -hmm. would be really funny. Not bad! All the high troops regroup and show them how the big boys play. Destroys one unit. Alright! Sensei's like, no! I knew that man! Oh, this is interesting. Maybe he'll build an air unit, like a really expensive bomber or something, on that airport. That'd be really funny. Battlecopter's fine, I guess. Still ain't covering his own tracks, eh? There's something humorous. Um, I think the way I'm going to play this, and it's a weird way to play it, is to put... Um, like it, this is a very weird way to play this. But essentially, I want to have... Um, I want to have those cities ready to be, like, just fair. Like, just done. I think for this turn, we definitely have to take a hit on that, but we could do it like this. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I think I'm going to take the, defen uh, the defensive route, and as long as we kill this, we can essentially deploy our troops and start really hurting him. Because if we can, like, capture these two buildings down here, we can start mechanizing his own base, which is just a win con, essentially, for us. Please build another unit, honestly. I'll move this here just so then he has incentive to maybe base block himself. However, now that he's gonna have his super seer power, I think it's ready for us to have out. See what experience can do for you. Don't do experienced, Max. You and you youngins. I'm 120 years old and look what I can do. Gotta put more backbone into it. Very annoying sensei. However, though, uh, as well, being able to have an extra mech unit just there is very good for us. That way, next time we can fuse here. Um, always fuse forward to wherever you want to go. I did that wrong the first time I used this. Boy. So much money. Uh, I think I might make another fighter at this point, though. Man. Like who's the direct specialist in this mission? You're gonna get hurt. Well, not really. Your firepower goes to like maybe 60. Uh, we have 10% defense, so it's more like you know 50. And 50 is still really strong, but it's, you only have three units, and one of them's not even gonna be able to attack. Most likely. Oh Jesus, he went far.
Max is so smart, guys. Bring back your recons. And then get mecked in the next turn. Mech infantry and battlecoptered. He... Okay, so now he's finally taking precautions. However... This is where the fun begins. Because this is now where we win the game. We'll destroy one of these anyway. Because we damn can. But then one thing we're gonna do very sneakily is we're gonna capture just this one property uh, because we can then actually do a lot of crazy things even if it's just a property. It's very insane. Yep, so we'll take this. This could kill. And it does. Little battlecopter here. Kill the tank. Because this is basically his only direct unit that's going to be able to hurt us for a bit. Take out that. Now he does have two infantry units, which are slightly annoying. Combine those. However, now we can bring in the Neo tank again. Get a bit more surplus. Because yet again, we want him to build on this airport. Because it's actually beneficial to us. His, uh, his missiles are also weaker in general, so that might even do, like, maybe not much damage at all as well, which is funny. It's funny that that missile unit only is attacked once as well. Um, Neo tank, please. And followed by more transport to un... un like, have these mechs on the, the front of the battlefield again. So I would like them to actually get a move. Build another one for this one next turn. Okay. Yeah, so essentially, that infantry is going to cap that base. Uh, and that will allow us to do a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, barely any damage. Yeah, he took the bait of killing a good unit. Which is why he's going to lose here. This is good for us. This means we get a lot of power charge. That's the thing that's funny is we're in a point of advantage where we win not by being good. We win by just sheer value of our troops now. And that is a very fun position to be in. Can we just kill him? Good old value. Can we just kill this immediately? Oh, cool. Um, Jesus, 91% damage. If he had 50% better infantry, he literally would be able to one-shot infantry with max. May as well. So now we can base block again and wait until we can capture it, which will be... I'll go for it next turn. Which means now he only can deploy within his range and I'm going to do something a bit silly, but I'm going to kill our own fighter here because that means his anti-air is going to 100% go for that, which means that we can actually now kill this because um, this infantry will no longer be capping, so the AI will say, hey, there's a fighter jet right there, that's really valuable. And then in potential, we could capture another city, and if we do that, it's crazy. Um, we 
can move this up a bit now as well. Another fighter jet just there, and we'll make another bomber at this point. Because we gotta, we got to have some air units, obviously. But first, we want to unmaroon these troops. Because troop well-being is very important, as everyone knows. Okay. But yeah, as you can see, like, this mission isn't too hard, and there's a reason why uh, it's one of the first few ones. But see, he base blocks, which is good for us. Uh, he attacks, not even killing it. Yeah, we can actually do a lot with this valuable power that we just gained. Some things the average CO would call unnatural. I like making random Star Wars quotes. On it. He has one left. Put this here. This here to attack this. Then we bring in the other fighter jet to kill the battlecopter he made. And then we can capture this one. But we have to attack from this square. Very important. He might go for the capping infantry though. <laughs> that is actually really funny. I might do that play, that seems funny. So what my funny play is, is that I can actually, uh, use my CO power this turn, uh, super CO power, make a bunch of mechs, kill that anti-air, so then he has to bring his other anti-air down to even deal with that fighter. But then on top of that, like, it's just so much value. We get so much money for doing this. And the fun fact is this is not even a misplay. So we can combine these ones. Combine these ones like that. Move up, combine these ones. Have this get combined here. This go here. We combine with that. And then we do our signature combining. Max, if you don't understand that when you combine two units that are missing health, you get surplus money equal to the amount, uh, the amount of difference. You will be winning this fight, youngster. Well, it's funny how this, this video has taken almost as long as the next episode that you'll be seeing, which I recorded first because I was so hyped about learning a mechanic that wasn't in the original game. Uh, that I recorded it first, but this one's going so smooth. Senseis are very strong. He's like, typically people have put him in like, t tier 3. Which makes sense, obviously. Um, now then. Base block. Kill mech. We're starting the pain for him. Uh, I think we will actually take a hit on that, maybe. Do that. Yeah, we'll destroy it. We'll just focus on destroying the annoying units currently. No more. 
Also, that felt nice. Right. Secondarily, we can drop this here. We can then go for a good amount of damage on this. If it wasn't on planes, it probably would have been a one shot. Make this weaker so it can't even really hit on the mech that we just dropped. But it will. Oh no, that's the other. Oh, had a really British accent there. Oh no! This unit is going to be useless, but if you put it here, one, two, one, two, three, you can hit on this one. There's a lot of little cool things like that where you can do stuff. Um, I think at this point we may as well just make a lot more transport units, just so we can get all of these mechs around. Uh, that's the one thing that's really fun about Sensei as well, is you just play with mechs so much more and it's something you don't typically do, that it feels really fun and rewarding. We don't currently have the money for everything we want to build, but uh, boy howdy will we still do it. Really sad. You're he gets the get max hurt. blast, probably kill that fighter. Unless he moves the 2 HP one first. So unfortunate for him. Also, the reason why I chose the Advance Wars 2 one is literally just because Sensei is really cool on this map. Wow, he kills the transport copter. That bomber? Nah, that ain't nothing. That transport copter is really the threat here. It allows him to do so much, such as nothing. Yeah. Now, I usually say, as I always do, work from the back and then to the front. That's my classic Advance Wars saying. Um... Yeah. We're just... Uh, like, with this uh, extra unit we have, like, nothing that he produces from these uh, from these bases is going to uh, play in the area of things. Very smart to them. Um, is going to do anything, so we'd have to worry about any of them. Now, we can't actually move that one, but we can move this one. This could actually be a kill. It wasn't. Almost though. This is just pain and suffering for Max, honestly. The dreaded, the dreaded sensei pain. The most overpowered thing, honestly, because it would make grit so unfair, would be something that can carry indirect units, like an APC. It would be so unfair. Let's start dropping these mechs off. I'm actually going to kill this because I think only ha letting him have one unit um, from an airport is really useful. Also, the entire armada is coming in. If I was Max, I would just like give up at this point. We'll build a tank for fun. And 
And this is one thing as well, you always get a good technique score when you play Sensei, like, because you build so many mechs and you combine them. So you build two units, they turn into one unit, and when that unit dies, you only lose one point of technique. Like, you only you lose what you would for one uh, unit. So he has basically no units at this point. We're going to be winning this turn by uh, just simple rush down, I feel like. Oh my god, the amount- like, I feel like supply is the thing that takes longer than anything else now. So, oh, actually, I think this is the one we would want to kill. Yeah, definitely. This is funny, we have to do it. Kill the anti-air! Um, and because we can, I'll loot, use his little power. See what experience can do for you. Buy the rewards card. Copter command. Love me some sunset. We have reached maximum capacity. My strategy did not work, but it's fine. We win it. But our strat my strategy of getting infantry on that property didn't work because we reached maximum capacity of units. That is something you don't see every day. But I guess if you play Sensei, it is something you see every day. I bet we don't have any battle copters to kill the final thing. Which is, I think this is funny. And that's all, folks. We didn't even need to build any more units. That's enough of that. Two ninety-five S rank. That is pretty damn good, in my opinion. Now I've looked at the YouTube's uh, making these uh, videos, uploading them, and it's actually really good if I end the video on this screen because uh, the next video playlist and all that can be on this screen. So I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. I'll see you all in the next video. Comment below, because I will be taking a little bit like a few days off uh, from doing this. Comment down below. It can be Span Island Advance Wars 2, Moji Island Advance Wars 2. Uh, it can be like any map, really. I want to kind of go in order, but like if there's a CO you want to see, comment them down below. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a lovely day.